Welcome back to Inside Wrestling. I'm Wayne Young, and we've kind of lost our audience here. They've all gone off to other things. But they're at the souvenir stand. They're, they're at the souvenir trying stand. Trying to buy some t-shirts. Concession <laughs> stand. They're putting a show together backstage. Of course, as you can see, the crowd is starting to filter in at Louisville Gardens. A very exciting night. It's the Night of the Demon. And, Jim, that leads us into the obvious question. A number of the guys on the card here this evening are guys that we can expect to see in the World Wrestling Federation before long. No doubt about it. It's just a matter of time. Uh, you've got guys, like I said, like the uh, NCAA Heavyweight Wrestling Champion from Minnesota this year, Brock Lester, who's a tremendous blue chip prospect. Of course, Mark Henry is here trying to trying to retool, trying to find his aggressiveness. And the Big Show is here because the situation with the Demon Leviathan and the Disciples of Sin. And, and Big Show also realizes if he's training with these young guys, if he wants to run with the big dogs, he's got to get up off of, off of the porch, and he's going to have an advantage when he goes back to the WWF because when this invasion comes, and I'm talking about the homegrown guys like the Damager and Iron Man Rob Conway and Flash and Mr. Wrestling Nick Dinsmore, who was awarded a WWF deal uh, after he beat Al Snow at the Rock and Rumble this summer. And we're talking about guys like Slash and Damian, the current Southern Tag Team Champions, and, and of course uh, the Suicide Blondes, who are a tremendous tag team, in addition to the WWF developmental roster like, like Slick Robbie D. And, uh, and of course, you've got to Shelton Benjamin, who is a tremendous prospect, also from Minnesota, was a teammate of Brock Lesnar's and the collector, the 1993 NCAA Heavyweight Champion. Rico Constantino, an American Gladiators champion. We can go on and on with the fact that these guys have tremendous athletic credentials and they are going to be in that spot very soon. What about one of the feature matches tonight? The hardcore match between Black and Trailer Park Trash. You, you got kind of a an added incentive there for well, Mr. Black. Well, yeah, you know, if Trailer Park Trash loses, then Trailer Park Trash, who I consider the heart and soul of OVW, is going to have to leave Ohio Valley Wrestling. That's part of the stipulation, pre-match stipulation of the contract. However, if Mr. Black loses, and I sincerely hope that's the case, then Kenny <laughs> Bowen, my old pal, my old childhood friend, is going to be gone from Ohio Valley Wrestling. And I think it would be a kinder and a gentler OVW if that shyster, that crook, Kenny Bowen, wasn't around. He is so crooked. As a matter of fact, if if if, if he, you know how to, you know how you can tell when his lips are moving, oh. or how he's lying when his lips are moving, he's lying. Oh my. And that's when, and, and of course we have. Without further ado, that's about enough. I've heard you run your mouth about enough. Oh, you ran about, about every I don't think star. You've enough. mentioned every star in Ohio Valley. You haven't mentioned Kenny the King Bowling. Well, you're going to mention him now. And yeah, you've done your damnedest to get me out of Ohio Valley ever since you've come here. You fired me from the broadcasting spot. Yeah, you know, let me chair. tell you something. You know why I always wanted to get you out of OVW? How long have I known you? 25 I've known you for years. 25 stinking years. And for 25 years, I've had to be the guy to make excuses for you. I've had to be the guy every time you piss somebody off. Kenny's an okay guy. There's nothing wrong with Kenny. He means well at heart. You know how he got in the wrestling business? I'm going to tell you how he got in the wrestling business. He, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm going to tell you something about this guy. He got in the wrestling business by calling Danny Davis up at OVW and saying you would be doing Jim Cornette a personal favor you if damn you put right me in the wrestling business. Okay. And I'm mad about wait, 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 wait a minute. 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 You know what the truth was? The truth was I never told Danny Davis to do nothing because he's been an embarrassment to me ever since I've known him. That's a damn lie. You've had 20 different jobs in 25 years. That's a damn lie. I'm the, one help, that, I'm the one to bail you I'm out. I'm the one that made you for crying out loud. I'm the one that gave the Midnight Express the music. Oh, come you on. have buried me. You've buried me for the 17 years you've been in the business. Every time I had a chance to make a name for myself, then you had to Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You never did it. Wait a minute. You always said I gave you. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. I feel terrible. I gave him five thousand dollars. I gave him five thousand dollars to bail him out of a mess. The last time he tried some shyster scam. It's falling and apart I here. I wouldn't it's, give it's it to you. Apart. I made you I pay thought me that, back. You know, we, and that's we had Jim Cornette scheduled this evening. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. We'll be back with more. My God!
Oh my god. Jim. Jim. I'm sorry. Come here. Okay. I apologize. Welcome back to Inside Wrestling. I'm Wayne Young. I'm I'm sorry, uh, Jim. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had that that had to happen. Well, I'm you know. sorry. I screwed up your show. No, you haven't we're, screwed up the show. We're not. We're, we're not. Glasses. We're we're. Jim, we'll have to. We're going to have to do this another time when when things are a little more under control and and we have a little better security. I I'm sorry. You know, Rick Rick tried to stop him and. You know, I, I apologize. I don't need security for that fat son of a gun, but I'll tell you what, after tonight, I hope nobody will have to worry about him because he's going to be out of here if I got anything to do about it. Thank well, you. Well, there you go, Jim. Thank you. Well, you know, you know, this, uh, it's obviously before the show this evening. We have no idea what's going to happen tonight. The, uh, the uh, hardcore match between Trailer Park Trash and Mr. Black, and one of those guys, either Trailer Park Trash or Kenny the King Boland, is out after this evening. Tough words for Mr. Cornette. Gosh, obviously their, uh, their feud goes way back. Well, there you go. Another edition of Inside Wrestling in the can, so to speak. What an exciting night. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I've got to collect myself. I, I'm not accustomed to this. But uh, uh, I do want to remind you that next week we've got an action-packed show next Saturday night at midnight right here in WBKI. We'll have former OVW champion Nick Dinsmore. We'll have the damager, Slick Robbie D. We'll also have a, uh, an injury update on Rico Constantino. All that and more next Saturday night here on Inside Wrestling. Until then, I'm Wayne Young. Good evening.